Welcome to another month, November 1. November 1, most fish are caught. Fill in that blank. Good morning, guys and girls. November 1st. November 1st, we start a new month in the Catch a Better Life book. The month is November. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty November? What a great time of the year. Hey, it's stayed summertime here through forever. Seems like we had a... I think it got down to 38 degrees, and that's, that's the lowest it's been down to. But it's just been amazing, amazing. We've had so much 70 and 80 degree weather. September, October, probably has some 80 degree days this month, too. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. November 1, reading from a Catch a Better Life book, where we have a scripture for every day, a devotional for every day, built around fishing and a fishing tip. And it will guarantee if you get involved with this channel, get on this channel, you will do that. You will have a better life. You will absolutely have a better life. November 1, we're looking in the book of James, not the book of Jimmy, the book of James. James 1, 4, and it said, Let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Lacking nothing. Lacking nothing. Let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. As water cools off more and more, jerk baits play a bigger part in our arsenal of baits that we use. We also moved from floating jerk baits that we've been using throughout the summer to the more suspended models like we were using back in February and, and March. Suspend floating is going when you stop it, they're going to float back up to the top. Suspending, you jerk it down, it's going to stay right there. It's not going to come up, it's not going to go down. Some of them just barely sink just a little bit, but they stay, they stay in the right position right there. The more patient we are, the more strikes we'll get with a suspended jerk bait. When you stop that suspended jerk bait, when you jerk that thing down there and stop it, you let it set as long as you can. You let it set as long as you can. And let it set, let it set some more. <laughs> then let it set some more. Should patience be working in every Christian? Should every Christian have patience working in their lives? I think that it should. I used to never pray for patience because I was afraid I would get it. And I didn't want it. But patience is a virtue, says in the Bible. And it should be working in every Christian. As we grow in Christ, we should become more patient with everybody around us. And get this, more patient with ourselves. Sometimes it's more difficult to be patient with ourselves than it is with somebody else. This patience causes us to become better Christians, more like Christ, which is exactly what we're trying to become. We're trying to become a little bit more like Jesus, a little less like us. It's what we're trying to become. Having trouble with patience? Are you having trouble with patience? By golly, it's something I pray for every day because I do have trouble with patience. Just think and remember how patient God has been and still is with most of us. Yeah, you and me. That's who God's been patient with. He's patient enough, praise God, to forgive every sin while we grow in Christ. Oh my goodness, that's a great, isn't that a great devotional? I love that devotional. Here's our tip for today. It was a fill in the blank. This is pretty easy. Most bass are caught in 10 feet of water and shallower. If I ask you what depth most people, most fish are caught in, most of you would have got that. It wouldn't even hardly been anything you had to think about. Most bass are caught in 10 feet water or less. Now, are there fish out there deeper to be caught? You bet they are. And we catch them a lot out there. But you know, even in the summertime when it gets really hot, we still catch an awful lot of fish in 10 foot of water or less. In the winter time, when we target those big suspended bass down around the dams in some of these lakes, trying to target with our, with our forward facing live scope sonar, um, when we, we're targeting those fish, a lot of those fish are five, 10 foot deep. Some of them 15, 20 feet deep, true. But, but a lot of those, even they're maybe over 70 or 80 foot of water and they're 10 feet deep, deep, deep or, or less. So if you're gonna fish where most of the fish are caught, 10 feet deep or shallower is a good place to do it. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>